guys, my name is George or the Real Wolfie and welcome to my 2015 Trophy Manager review for my team, Wolfie United FC. This is my little way of uh, saying how 2015 has gone for my team as well as the ups and the downs for what's gone on. I'm going to go through a, quite a few different things like the league chances and stadium and literally tell you what has happened with my team in the past like five months or so. So without further ado, this is Wolf United FC, the story so far. So in this episode, I'm going to be sh giving you the lowdown on all four seasons into 2015 from season 41 to season 44, which is still underway, hence the under construction sign. And it's just going to give you the lowdown of what I've done in each season up to the end of 2015, because I've only been doing weekly updates since the start of season 44. But first, it's time for this. A short history on the creation and formation of Wolfie United FC. So basically, this is how I, uh, this is how and why I formed my team. So I am born and live in England. And for any dumb American girl who well, thinks this, it's the, it's the closest to the sun, I think. In case you're a bit dumb like that, girl, no, that is not where England is. England is there on Earth, just to clear that up in case you're a bit confused. So to be a bit more precise, I was born in the lovely steel city of Sheffield. To be even more precise, in Totley, the place where we still live and sleep with sheep and we've only just discovered the wheel. I mean, you can see by the green on the right, on the left-hand side of the map, we're right next to the countryside. I mean, it's a nice place to live, but we're just a bit, we're a bit slow. Yeah, we're a bit slow. Yeah. But anyway, I was sat at home on Trophy Major. I decided to create Wolf United FC. That is how it was created. That's the history of it. There's no reason behind it. I just felt like creating it. That's the history for you. And that is a wrap. But anyway, on to what happened in season 41. So first we're going to start off with the transfers. So, transfers in to my club in season 41. Well, first of all, I signed Jean Bovols, who is a Danish striker, three-star rated, got him for 300k. Pretty good player. He played all right. I also got my captain, Alec Britton. He's a le British left mid, also free star. Got him for 1.1 million, another bargain. I also got my almost full-time goalkeeper, John Fletcher, another free star player, 1.2 million, another good bargain. And Malti Helveg, my first big sign in Danish uh, offensive mid-centre for 4 million. And he's a three and a half star player, another great player there, another great bargain. And Joe Ludlow, my striker, Got him for 6.6 .6 million. Don't really need to say much more about him because you guys know he has been a beast for my team since then. And also Pilt Van June managed to get him South Korean striker for just 7.4 million. My most expensive, but he played well. And then as you can see, Daniel Neal as well. A three-star striker. I forgot how many players I signed in that first season. I got him for 4.2 million. Then as to the players going out of my team, there was only one, and this is my most expensive sale I've ever had. Five million. I barely ever sell my players, guys. So just don't say that I'm dumb, I'm not selling players, I'm not getting much money, but I barely ever sell players. I managed to get five million for a pretty average player. I was, ha I was happy with that. I was very happy with that. As to the league, we only played 13 games because I joined halfway through a season, but that's what happened. I've won over half of my games, scored 32, conceded 15, goal difference plus 17, 26 points. That put me in second place in my league. I was happy with that. I managed to get promoted. My biggest victory was 11-2 against Club D uh, Deportivo St. Helens. No surprise, they came last in the league. My biggest defeat was 5-0 to the team that actually came first. And that was my first ever game as well. So that was a pretty harsh defeat. As to season 42, back to the transfers, more players came in. I managed to sign my probably one of my best players, Tom Nolan, my Danish 
offensive centre mid. I got him for 15 and a half million. Really good buy. Best player I've probably ever signed. Tony Schofield, my right wing or striker. Three star, managed to get him for 13 million because he had potential. Another good player there. Rich Hahn, my best right back, managed to get him in season 42 for just 0.4 million. He's an incredible player, incredible buy for just 0.4 million. This guy, I barely ever play. I mean, he's not really worth even saying about, but he was for a million. Eshmael, my main left back from Iraq. That rhymes, I know, I'm an absolute genius, I'm a poet. Five million for him, great play, great buy. Five million was an absolute bargain. And Dimitriou as well, a centre mid from Romania, three star player for only 4.3 million, he was a bargain as well. As the players going out, I got rid of Robert Taylor, my left mid, not even worth saying about it. His one star player got rid of him for 100k. So in the league, we played a full season, won 20, draw, uh, drew 7, lost 7, scored 71, conceded 42, which gave me a nice high goal difference, seven and 67 points, which put me in second place in the league. My biggest win was only 4-0 against Real, so, so bad. And my biggest loss was 5-3 against top of the league. So that season went pretty good for me. The season 43, more transfers in this time. I got Tom Turner, my new young left back, who's three star rated now for 3.1 million, a nice buy there. I also got my informed sent me Clark Fox, a three star player for 3.3 3, uh, 3 million, as well as my Irish centre back, Adam Maguire, three star player. I spent ages looking for an Irish player, got this one for 2 million. Robert Beach, he is my most expensive purchase ever. 27.2 million, three and a half stars. Then I found out I could have got a lot better player than him because he only has 10 reflexes, which isn't the best, but still my best signing I think I've ever made because he kept out a lot of goals at first. Uh, Jeremy Johnson, another good centre mid. I got him for quite a low price, being honest, 3.9 million. Um, Fabrice Geats has just been upgraded to a three and a half star player. I managed to get him for 6.2 million. He is an absolute bargain for me. As well as Andy Travis. He's played well. He could play anywhere really in defence. Got him for a million quid. And he's a really good buy for me really. He's probably been one of my best. Thomas Saunders as well. I got him for quite a lot of money being honest. I don't think he's really worth it. But he's a good player. I uh, might sign him in the future to watch this space. As well as Cody Potter, definitely a really good signing I've made. 11.2 million for an incredible player. And he won, I think it was a most productive player last season. He was he won that award in the whole league for under 21. So I was really happy with that. As the players heading out of my team, again, not many. David Parry, my left wing, only one and a half star rated. So he's not really worth talking about. I got him for under 100k. I got rid of him for under 100k in the league. Another full season. 122, lost seven. Uh, sorry, drew seven, lost five. Scored a 75, conceded 41. A goal difference of plus 33. 73 points meant I finished in first place in the league for the first time. My first ever title with either of my teams. Uh, my biggest victory was 5-0 against Racing Club ba uh, Basildon and I lost 4-0 against West Devon SS who came second in the league in the end. That was on the opening day of the season as well, so that was a quite harsh one. I in the league, obviously we've only played 13 games so far. I'll let you guys read that because it's a bit pointless me reading over it again. But that those stats have put me in 14th place in the league. I've had a... Of, of my three wins, the biggest was a 5-2 win over FC Rocket. And of my eight defeats, I lost 6-1 on the second day of the season to Gunners Arsenal. Now, this is what my stadium looks like as of the new year. So, these that's my stadium, and these are all the levels that I'm at at the moment. I'm not going to read through them all, because you can read them yourselves. But I have a 21,500 stadium capacity and my merchandise and physio were, are almost fully uh, maxed out as our pitch cover sprinklers and floodlights it's going pretty well guys my stadium actually looks quite good now you know what guys i say 2016 bring it on hashtag all for united fc
bring on 2016. Um, it's the it's the closest to the sun, I think. 